Hi everyone and welcome back to the Get Reskilled channel. Today we're zooming in on County Cork in Ireland and getting to know the pharma and med device industries there. Cork has an absolutely thriving pharma and med device industry. There are over 30 different manufacturing sites across the county, over 14,000 people are directly employed by pharma and med device companies and many thousands more are employed indirectly by companies that support these industries. In this video we're going to take a closer look at where these companies are, including how to find the ones closest to you, take a deeper dive into some of the biggest companies here so you can better understand what they do and finally give you some tips about how to find a job in Cork's pharma and med device industries. You'll see me use a few different Get Me Skilled resources throughout this video and these are all freely available to you on our website and I'll put a list of links in the description below. So let's dive right in. This table is taken from a page on the Get Reskilled website and shows a list of manufacturing sites organised by county. So there's a few things to note here. First of all, the sheer number of sites in the county. It really is a hub for the pharma industry across Ireland. We've currently got 34 on this list and that only includes manufacturing sites. Now that's obviously great news if you want to start looking for a job in the area right now. There's going to be a lot of companies you can apply to. But it's also really positive news for the future because if you pay attention to announcements companies make when they're going to build new manufacturing sites or give additional investments to current sites, they often mention the presence of an established hub like this as a big positive for them. That's likely because there's typically good supporting infrastructure, a skilled local population and lots of supporting service companies in close proximity. Second, even if you're not particularly familiar with the farm industry, you'll probably still be able to spot some company names you recognise. We've got the likes of Boston Scientific, Lilly, J&J, &J, MSD, Pfizer and Stryker. Now these are some of the biggest pharma and med device companies in the entire world and they've chosen Cork. And finally, it's worth taking a look at the employee numbers in some of these sites. These are not small operations. If I just zoom out on the table here so we can see the full list, now don't worry about being able to read the names, but just let me highlight how many of these sites employ more than 500 people. That's 12 out of the 34. More than a third of these sites have more than 500 employees. And what's even more impressive is that four sites have more than a thousand employees. These are huge manufacturing operations. So basically there are lots of sites and lots of employees per site and that's all great news if you're looking for opportunities. I'm going to give you a bit more information about a few of these big companies and big manufacturing sites but first just want to take a minute to show you this scale of Cork's industry in a slightly more visual way. This is Get Reskilled's Google map of the pharma and med device manufacturing sites across Ireland. And if we use the search function here, we can get a really great overview of that impressive cluster of industry in Cork. Each of these pins is an individual company site and you can click on each one and get more details about it. As a quick aside, this is a fantastic way to search for companies within a commutable distance of your house and create a wish list of companies to start applications and also to monitor job adverts. Now, with this and any other Get Reskilled resource you see in the video, if you spot something missing, please leave a note in the comments. We are constantly updating these resources as we see new information, but we are a small team and as you've seen, the industry in Ireland is huge. So that was just a quick detour for anyone who prefers to see information as an image rather than a text-based table. But let's now jump back to those top companies. And let's start with Pharma. First of all, we've got Pfizer, which is currently the biggest pharma company in the world based on revenue. Pfizer was one of the first pharmaceutical companies to move into Ireland in 1969. So to date, their capital investment in Ireland is more than $8 billion and they now employ approximately 5,000 people across five sites in Cork, Dublin and Kildare. This makes them one of the largest pharmaceutical sector investors and employers in Ireland. So in Cork, Pfizer has an active pharmaceutical ingredient manufacturing site in Ringeskiddy that employs approximately 700 people. This was a site that was established in 1969 and the company describes it as a multi-award winning manufacturing facility that is key to the Pfizer business and plays a critical strategic role in new global products and launches. It has three organic synthesis plants and a new product testing laboratory. So as well as manufacturing those bulk pharmaceuticals for export around the world, the site also works alongside Pfizer's global research and development to scale up new products for regulatory approval and for launch. Next up we have Lilly. So Lilly currently operates two sites in County Cork, a pharmaceutical manufacturing site in Kinsale and a global business solutions site in Little Island. Now between these two sites the company employs roughly 3,000 people in the county. In 2021 Lilly's two sites submitted a joint bid that ultimately saw them awarded Cork Company of the Year by the Cork Chamber of Commerce. So Lilly's Kinsale site was purchased as a farm in 1978 and today over a thousand people work in high-tech manufacturing facilities on that site, producing active ingredients for Lilly's pharmaceutical products. This site is unique within Ireland as it houses chemical synthesis, biotechnology and continuous manufacturing. 
The most recent investment in the Kinsale site was an $800 million expansion of manufacturing capabilities that was unveiled in September 2024. As well as manufacturing, the Kinsale facilities also provide late phase product development and process optimization, as well as a pilot scale biotechnology plant. The facility's small volume continuous project was awarded the Process Innovation Prize at the International Society of Pharmaceutical Engineers in their Facility of the Year competition in 2024. Over at Little Island, the Global Business Solutions site covers functions including finance, HR, data management, supply chain, customer service and R&D. Employment levels have quadrupled at the site since 2019 and it was expected that there would be more than 2,000 people employed here by the end of 2024, over half of whom would be working in clinical research and development. Our next company actually handily bridges the gap between our pharma section and our med device section, so let's now move on to G&G. Johnson & Johnson have both pharmaceutical and medical device manufacturing operations in County Cork and they employ roughly 2,800 people across the county. If we look first at pharma, Johnson & Johnson's pharmaceutical division, which was previously known as Janssen, is now known as G&G Innovative Medicine. They have two sites in Cork, one in Little Island and one in Ringiskiddy. The Little Island Pharmaceutical Manufacturing site has been operational since 1981. It is one of four within the company that make up the Small Molecule Cluster organisation. The bulk active pharmaceutical ingredients that are manufactured here are also used by other G&G innovative medicine sites and third-party companies around the world for use in tablet screens and injectable dosage forms. There are approximately 400 people currently employed here. The Ringy Skiddy site is responsible for biologics research, development and manufacturing. There are currently over 700 people employed here and they are manufacturing five commercial products that are used in the treatment of cancer and immune-related diseases. Since 2005, the company has invested over 900 million euros in the site. Now moving on to the medical device manufacturing, we have J&J MedTech Orthopaedics in Ringiskiddy, which was formerly known as Dupuy. This medical device manufacturing facility produces orthopaedic and joint replacement products. It was opened in 1997 and is now the company's largest manufacturing site for these products, which are then sold around the world. Around 1,700 people are employed across a variety of roles here. In 2015, the Ring of Skiddy site was awarded the Shingle Prize for operational excellence. It was then named as one of the top nine most advanced factories in the world by the World Economic Forum in 2018 for its use of Internet of Things technology. The company invested 36 million euros in 2019 to establish additional RNG products at the G&J MedTech orthopaedic site. This investment led to the establishment of a 3D printing development and launch centre, as well as 30 additional jobs. As a result, the company was able to launch its first commercial 3D printed knee product. Next up in med devices is Boston Scientific, who employ roughly 1,200 people at their Cork site. The Boston Scientific manufacturing site in Cork has been operational since 1998, and today it manufactures a range of medical devices, which includes catheters, occlusion coils, and inflation devices. In 2016, the facility was awarded the prestigious Shingle Prize, the annual award given to recognise excellence in manufacturing. The Cork Chamber of Commerce Awards named Boston Scientific Cork Company of the Year in 2018 and at the time of the award, the company estimated that seven patients a minute were treated with products shipped by Boston Scientific Cork. In 2021, the company announced a €30 million Euro investment in the site. The research, development and innovation investment is expected to add 70 new jobs to the site and diversify the range of devices developed and manufactured there. Last up in our company spotlight is Stryker. Stryker manufactures medical technology with a focus on surgical devices and is now one of the biggest such companies in the world. Stryker describes Cork as its biggest innovation and manufacturing hub outside of the US headquarters. Stryker first began operations in Cork in 1998 and today the company employs over 4,100 people across six sites. The company's European operations leadership are also based in the county. So the company's six sites across the county are Spring Hill, which is an instrument manufacturing site that was opened in 1998. Telegreen, which is a medical implant manufacturing site, which was also opened in 1998. Model Farm Road, which was acquired in 2011. This is a neurovascular device development and manufacturing site that includes an R&D neuro hub that was opened in 2022. Then there's the Innovation Centre that opened in 2025, where the company carry out medical instrumentation global R&D. Then there's Angrove, which opened in 2016. There's additive manufacturing, which is 3D printing, activities based there, as well as the Amagen R&D Institute. And finally, there's McCroom, where a trauma and extremities product manufacturing site was acquired in 2020. Strike's investment in Cork has continued across many years. So in 2019, the company announced a 200 million euro investment for research, development and innovation projects across three of the Cork sites. And in 2023, Stryker won International Company of the Year and Overall Company of the Year at the Cork Chamber Awards. 
So that's a roundup of some of the biggest companies operating in Cork. And as you can see, the area has historically attracted some of the world's largest pharma and med device companies. And what we've seen is that once they're there, they keep continuing to invest. The final thing to note about the current strength of Cork's pharma and med device industries are the ongoing announcements of investments and new jobs being created by companies of all sizes. So most recently we've seen that Hovion have announced a multi-million euro investment and that's expected to lead to 20 new jobs. GE Healthcare are creating 140 new jobs on a new production line. Abve are investing 60 million euros and creating 70 new jobs. Biomarin have also announced a 60 million euro investment to expand its current facilities. And Cara Partners are creating 60 new jobs from a 130 million euro investment. And finally, Merck are expecting to create 370 new jobs after they announced a massive 440 million euro investment in their Cork site. Now, that's a whole lot of numbers, but the key takeaway is that Cork is already a well-established hub of pharma and med device industries, and it's continuing to attract investment and development from a wide range of companies. That's all great news for anyone who's interested in a pharma or med device career in Cork. And while job hunting in the pharma and med device industries is something we'll be covering in much greater detail in future videos, as a quick introduction, here's our specialist jobs board. It only lists pharma and med device industry jobs, so it's absolutely invaluable to anyone job hunting in those industries. We first started a dedicated jobs board over 10 years ago, and in that time, Cork has always been the county with the highest or second highest number of jobs in Ireland. You can find jobs in Cork by going to our jobs board, typing Cork in the location filter option, then selecting Cork Ireland from the drop down, and you can add any other filters you'd like and then just take a look through the options. So there you have it, a rather thorough rundown of Cork's pharma and med device industries. If you've got any specific questions, put them in the comments below because we are always more than happy to share the knowledge we're gaining along the way. And if you're interested in starting a new career in Ireland's pharma industry or upskilling into a more specialised niche within it, head on over to getreskilled.com and find the course that's right for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more insights into the pharma and med device industries.